Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning. Hi, Piers. Welcome back. Welcome back. And of course, I want to say thank you so much uh, for staying with us. Um, you know, a bit of technical difficulties in linking up with James Saunders. I'm going to try to sort that out and get to them next Friday. But we are joined once again on set by some basketball as well. One of them is a basketballer. Uh, I'll call you next one a coach. <laughs> Good morning to you guys. Good morning. <laughs> and you see why I call one a basketballer and one a coach, right? <laughs> uh, um, so we have Atiba Dillion, a basketball coach, and we have um, Chris Roberts. Um, uh, should I say a future NBA player? Should I say a future NBA player? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Chris. So, so Chris, what I've gone out um, of the country, I think, recently, um, at MBA Without Borders program, an MBA Without Borders program. And of course, we want to hear from Chris. I mean, how was the experience? Um, it was a great experience. Got to meet a lot of new people, mm -hmm. coaches from the MBA, players from the MBA. Mm -hmm. um, I guess got to see the level of basketball around the world mm -hmm. from um, players within the Americas. And it was a great experience overall. So you say you met MBA coaches and MBA players? Mm -hmm. Tell me about what MBA players and coaches. Okay, so it had um, the players there were players who went through the camp right. and now in the NBA. Like so, like who so? Um, you may know them, but a guy he, he made the he's a rookie last mm -hmm. season. He made the all rookie first team. Benedict Matherin. Right. It's a guy Chris Boucher who plays with the um Tor Toronto Raptors. Mm -hmm. It's a Lou Dort who plays with the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder. Right. And they were um, NBA coaches. They were. Um, Steph Curry's shooting coach was actually there. Right. Um, the assistant coaches from throughout the league and co coaches from colleges and coaches from um, FIBA. Yeah. yeah. And, and what, what you took away from that camp? Um, I learned more. It was the camp for me was less about developing skill mm -hmm. and more about developing like knowledge on the game and knowing mm -hmm. when to do certain things right. and how to do certain things mm -hmm. when you're playing um, basketball at a higher level. So that's what I took away, the SD ways in which to um, be able to read the game and understand what to do out when. Yeah, and, and so can you take me through some of the, uh, uh, the sessions, like what you had to do in the days that you were there? Okay, so um, the days were, um, we went to the court from 8.39 mm -hmm. and we started. There were six stations by Skytad, um, it was four back-to-back -back courts. Right. And we, we, we and this is three. in Canada, right? Canada. Yeah, Canada. Right. So we utilized mm -hmm. three of them. Mm -hmm. So six baskets. And it split us up. Three groups of girls, three groups of boys. Mm -hmm. And then every, um, for like a 15 minutes, you'll be by one station mm -hmm. with the coaches there will be doing, let's say, defense. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the next station where they'll be doing shooting. Mm -hmm. And next station will be finishing. And so you'll go around the six stations. Mm -hmm. Then after this, this um, every person, has, every group has gone to the station. They'll split us up into teams. And I will play some games. Oh, and, and Tiba, coach, coach, what is it? Coach Tiba, <laughs> coach <laughs> Atiba Dillian. And I, I get accustomed to that now. Yeah. I mean, you, you, have, you have coached Chris at, at Bishop's High School. I mean, tell me about Chris. Um, discipline, mm -hmm. um, hard working. Um, a young man that you don't have to tell to train. You know, he actually wants to train more than you want mm -hmm. to be on the court training him. Mm -hmm. um, Someone who's dedicated to the sport, dedicated to, to the process and the work. He doesn't complain, very coachable. Um, and hence the reason why, he, because he have a good balance and, a, for my knowledge, a good foundation. Even at his graduation, he would have been the most outstanding or best all-around student. Right. The That's award good. he got. Because and that is not only basketball, but balancing his schoolwork as well. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the young men that I had my job made my job easier and had little to no work to do, you know. <laughs> so, so and, and this 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 opportunity for Chris, I'm sure that um, we have others in Tobago that I mean possess the skills and the knowledge of basketball and want to to take their game to the NBA. Right. Um, what does it mean for Tobago with Chris's involvement in this camp? Um, what it does is put a spotlight on us in Tobago, as in. So I'll give you some information, as mm -hmm. in Friday. Next week, Friday, we have another player from our right. Bishop's High School, which is Michael Smith. Mm -hmm. He'll be going to the U.S. to play. Um, As a captain of your team? As he's he's yeah. captain, right. Okay. Right. One of, no, Chris is actually captain on all the teams. All the teams, okay. Right, but he's one of the co-captains. Right, right. Right, so he'll be going to Atlanta to play mm -hmm. AAU tournament. Right. And then next month, we have another player who will be actually migrating to Spain to mm -hmm. play. 
in a professional academy. No, when I say my greatest pain, it's leaving Tobago. Leaving like Tobago. Right. So he's a secondary school player as well? Secondary school player, which is Jelani Carrington. And True Bishops High School. True Bishops High School as well. Mm -hmm. So what it has done is it mm -hmm. basically put a spotlight on, yeah. on Tobago. It actually have coaches, because as we speak now, one of my my key um, component with Bishops and even with Elite Eagles is Kerry Celestine. Mm -hmm. He's currently in the US. Mm -hmm. And right now we have we're building some network, building some connection. A lot of people are looking to Tobago now, mm -hmm. hand train and Tobago on a whole for to scout players. So normally people will scout players from train that now yeah, they are coming to Tobago. <laughs> you know, so it's one yeah. of those unique opportunities yeah. that we have. Mm -hmm. So so what what do you believe is the key to the success of your program? Because you'd have coached Bishop's High School to mm -hmm. success in Trinidad um this year. Uh, yeah. yes, it was this year, right? Yeah, yeah. It was this year. On, on the 20. Yes. Match by Scabba secondary. Remember, he didn't Scabba secondary, mm. he was dominating yeah. basketball. I was on the team, but on the bench. But <laughs> you know, um, you know, what has been the key to success for, for you and your program? For me and my program, I think um, I have to give credit to my day-to-day -day job, which is <laughs> being <laughs> a police officer. Yeah. And what yeah. happens is... You can't mess around at all. <laughs> yeah, you have, I, don't, I don't give blinds. Yes, I don't give yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to wiggle and from from that military background i actually bring mm -hmm. some of that to the mm -hmm. to my program in at bishop's high school mm -hmm. so we one of my as I always tell people the biggest accomplishment i have mm -hmm. is that i've never had a student or a past student involved in any form of crime mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. even the accolades or whatever but more than more than anything else is disciplined young men well-mannered young men well mm -hmm. well put together citizens and that is basically my ingredient right there. That is my secret ingredient right there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Chris, I mean, others are jumping to football and, and, and track and field. I mean, why basketball? Um, I started bas basketball back in first form. Mm -hmm. And at first, I was, in, I was playing football, actually. Football? Oh, I was playing football. Well, playing strikers, school. playing strikers. Yeah. But they realized you didn't score no goals. <laughs> <laughs> so you still let me try basketball. Nah, so back in um, first form, Kerry mm -hmm. Celestine actually was uh, my PE teacher at Bishop. Right, Kerry. Big up Kerry, big up so, Kerry. So at that term, we were doing basketball in PE. And mm -hmm. like, I don't know what you see or what, but a day he pulled me aside and said, that's his club, he's having training. Um, I think it was a Friday. Right. I said, if I'm not there in that training, the next mm -hmm. time we have PE class, I'll have 100 push-ups. <laughs> so I just went. Mm -hmm. Most of my friends were playing basketball, so I fit in easily. Mm -hmm. I just started playing and developed a love for the game. Yeah. And, yeah. What, what about this? What about basketball you, you really love? And, 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 and while you answer that, do you see yourself in the NBA somewhere down the road? Um, yes. And basketball, I don't know what it is, but it just, Hard to explain mm -hmm. um, the love for the game, but it's just like a good experience to it gives me the opportunity, as with most sports, to mm -hmm. go new places that I just did, to meet new people, mm -hmm. and just to, I don't know, just <laughs> <laughs> give me opportunity. Yeah. I know that you have graduated um, Bishop's High School, and of course, um, Tiba mentioned that you got honor, uh, well, you, you got honors in terms of an all wrong student. Mm -hmm. What's next for Chris Roberts? Um, I want to continue my studies. Mm -hmm. I may do a year six form before right. I go to college. Um, just to continue working on my game, mm -hmm. develop my game, get to a higher level, and just to continue getting more opportunities mm -hmm. and taking advantage of it. So, and, and if not basketball, what career do you want to venture into? I want to go into business. Want to go into business? business yeah. yeah, nobody can tell nothing about you here, right? In school. <laughs> uh, I was just checking the word, just checking. Um, Tiva, Tiva, you know, as we, as we look to wrap, um, I, I'm told that you have a program coming up as well, a uh, uh, summer program. Yeah. It's not summer in Trinidad and Tobago, but we like to yeah, call it summer. Yeah, but summer. a vacation program, right? Vacation. Tell me about that program you guys have. All right, so um, Elite, Eagle, Elite Eagles, we have um, summer camp from the 11th, mm -hmm. of, which is next week, right, for the whole summer. Yeah. Um, like $400 right. to register. Um, we have from age... Zero. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking them from the time they come out. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, like, I love that. Right. From yeah. eight, yeah. zero, mm -hmm. go right up, right? Mm -hmm. We go until the 17th. Yeah. Um, and then we have next weekend, we actually have some some games with our senior mm -hmm. um, players. Um, two clubs on trend are actually coming up to play yeah. us next weekend. So we had a summer program and then we also have some games and so forth. And um, this is all at Shaw Park, Shaw Park Hardcourt, right? At Shaw Park Hardcourt. Yeah. Yeah, and um, and I and I want to really heap praises on, on yourself and and Kerry, and Kerry Celestine. Eh? I've mm -hmm. passed them many days in Shaw Park, and Kerry, I mean, blazing sun, have them guys going through their paces, and you know, it's really it's really important that we have 
you know, we expose all our youngsters to different sporting disciplines, whether it's football, basketball, cricket. I played basketball before cricket, and mm -hmm. I really love basketball. And Kerry, a UTT um, uh, scholarship um, winner, and he's now back in Tobago developing basketball. It's like Chris and the others and yourself, Tiba, you guys are doing wonderful work. Keep it up, and of course, let's keep tuning out basketballers and other sportmen and women in Tobago. Guys, thank you so much for being with us here on the sporting segment of the Tobago Update Television. Um, it has been my pleasure. Remember, we're going to be with James on us next week talking CPL cricket. I think we're going to throw it over now to Candice and GMT. Um, enjoy yourself this weekend, and of course, be safe. Take a break and come right back. <laughs>